Candles and balloons near Lake Merritt less than one week after a young woman is shot and killed during a night out with friends. She was trying to, get, you know, put her life straightened out and everything, and she was doing everything for her daughter, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just hope, you know, she gets justice. You know. Frustration and heartbreak from the friends and family of 22-year-old Michelle Alamon. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebach in tonight for Frank Somerville. Police say the young woman was shot Thursday right near Lake Merritt and then died from her injuries two days later. New at 10, KTVU's Amber Lee joins us live from Oakland after hearing from loved ones. Amber? Well, they tell me they want her remembered as a loving and devoted mother to her young daughter. Family and friends tell me they're also concerned that her homicide will be unsolved because they say Oakland is dealing with so much violent crime. It's light here. It's like I, I feel I, well, I felt safe because it's people walking no matter what time it is. But it wasn't safe for Michelle Alamon. She was shot here last Thursday and died two days later. Family and friends say the 22-year-old enjoyed coming to Lake Merritt, drawn by the lights at nightfall. But on this night, those lights are joined by candles lit at a memorial for her. She deserved any of this. She was a really caring person. Police say Alamon was shot Thursday around 12.30 a.m. They say they're investigating the circumstances surrounding the deadly shooting. A source tells me it may have happened during a robbery. Family and friends say they're suspicious of the three people she was with, that all of them abandoned her at the scene and did not call her family. That they didn't come to notify her family. She, they knew she had a daughter. Everybody, all her friends knew she had a daughter. Alamon's boyfriend, Santos Avalos, says they had just celebrated their five-year-old daughter's birthday last month and that Alamon had recently started a job working for an online grocery delivery service. When she didn't come home that night, Avalos says he went searching for her at area hospitals and didn't learn until much later she had been shot. She was doing everything for her daughter, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just hope, you know, she gets justice. Avalos tells me he took this last photo as he held his girlfriend's hand at the hospital. He's now wearing one of the rings she wore that night. We're hoping there were signs of her coming back to us, but the impact was too much. He says Alamon was shot once in the head. All their dreams of getting married and having a second child gone. Avalos is urging detectives to find whoever's responsible for killing his girlfriend. Don't let this homicide, you know, just be just another cold case. You know, they need to push forward. Avlos says his girlfriend had a special ability to counsel friends who went through difficult times. He says he will tell their daughter her mother was a strong woman who loved her. Alamon's family tells me she was an organ donor and that in death she saved five lives. Julie? Mike. Amber, a young mother just gone too early. Let's hope those detectives in Oakland get the leads they need to make an arrest in this case. Amber Lee, live in Oakland. Amber, thank you.